Now, since we know that this is a kite, because we have our opposite sides um, are congruent, right, and we have our diagonals been bisected, we know that a kite, the diagonals, intersect each other at a very, very special angle. And Elena, do you remember that special angle that, the, that a kite's diagonals bisect each other at? What is this angle do you think they bisect each other at? 89, 91? A right angle, which is how many degrees? 90 degrees, which we represent like this, right? Or I could represent it like that, or right there, or right there. It doesn't matter, but all four of them, all the intersection, all of those are 90 degrees, right? Now they're asking us to find BC, which is right there. Well, I don't have any sides, do I? There's no sides on this kite, correct? So this kind of is getting a little difficult because these are the lengths of the um, diagonals, but they're not really helping us out. Well, what I'm going to do, guys, a lot of these types of problems, is I'm going to extract that angle. And if I extract that angle, right? so what I did is I extracted this. I took out that angle, and I took it out of the figure and wrote it by itself. Now, if I have a right triangle, and I have two lengths, well, whenever I have the right triangle, I know I can use a special theorem that we worked on at the beginning of class. Yeah, Shane? Pythagorean theorem. And remember, the Pythagorean theorem stated that when I have a triangle with three side lengths, that's a right angle, where c represented my hypotenuse, I could say a squared plus b squared equals c squared. So in this case, I do not know what my hypotenuse is, do I? Which we're going to call it c. All right? Or you could call it bc, because that's actually the length you're trying to find. But these two are my legs. Them squared adds up to my c squared. So I say 7 squared plus 4 squared equals c squared. 7 squared is 49 plus 4 squared is 16 equals c squared. Um, so that's going to be 55, 65. And since we haven't talked about some fine radicals yet, I'll just leave this as the square root of 65. Therefore, BC is equal to the square root of 65. Do you remember the Pythagorean theorem? Do you remember the Pythagorean theorem? Okay. We'll have to go back to first quarter with that.